What's up guys, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft PlayStation 4 Edition. In the last episode, we got some wonderful new dogs. I have still not named this one. Like I said, make sure to let me know what name you want her to be. This one's gonna be a girl, so if you have any girl dog names, feel free to let me know. We'll be naming her definitely next episode. It's just I, because I'm recording this one right after I recorded the last one, so I don't know yet what your comments are. But this is the 30th episode of Minecraft PlayStation 4. If we Let's do some fun math really quick. If the average Minecraft PS4 episode is 15 minutes, that means that in total, this series is nearly eight hours long so far. Eight hours worth of Minecraft fun, and to celebrate, we're going to be giving our cows some wheat. <laughs> okay, um, oh boy, oh boy, um, okay guys, let's do all of that for you. <laughs> take it, everybody take the wheat. You get it some too, you get some. <laughs> everybody get some free wheat. <laughs> oh man, they're loving it too. Hey, hey, don't break the boundaries of Physics, please. I just gave you free wheat and you're gonna be like, that to me? That would be very rude. Okay then, so let's uh, pull the wheat away so that they don't try to continue breaking the laws of gravity and physics and science and all that kind of stuff. Don't you love science, you cows? Don't you love science? Okay, it looks like they all got their own wheat. And it looks like some baby cows are the result. We won't take any lives of any cows today because we don't really need it. We'll do the same thing for sheep, though, because they seem to be all grown up. And hello, this guy's just like, I wanna be with my brethren. The cows, not these sheep, the cows. <laughs> what do you want, buddy? You wanna be a part of the group? Like, he'll be like, ooh, ooh, I'll take some, thank you. <laughs> All right then, so let's lure them over here so they don't charge out of the uh, gate, or maybe they will anyways. Come on, guys, come on, you guys want some free, free wheat too? Come on, everybody get some. Everybody can get some free wheat if you just hang out with the zebra. <laughs> All right, hopefully they make, how did, did you make? A baby over the gate? <laughs> I can imagine it's now, it's a love story. Be all like, just because we've been bound by this gate doesn't mean I can't love you, you beautiful sheep. We will have beautiful children! <laughs> okay then, so we have a rogue baby sheep. All right then, so let's get in here and then lure everybody on in. Come on everybody, come on in. All right, or not, oh, oh, okay, baby's getting in. The baby's getting in. <laughs> We're gonna call him Baby Oddball. How's that seem, sound? He just, this guy refuses to be in, he's a free rider. He just does not want to be a part of our little group. Okay then, you want to leave your child? You know how mean that is? You do what you need to do then. All right, and then finally we do have some chickens. Now chickens, they sort of mate, don't they? Yeah, they do mate. We actually, this guy was mated, or one of them was, but we can make these guys all happy and things, and hopefully they do happy things. And while they do, we'll throw some eggs down and hopefully that will also make us another adorable baby chicken. Oh, oh, there goes one. That's really interesting. So they can mate a baby chicken, and then we can throw an egg to make yet another baby chicken. It's an interesting idea. I don't know why it works like that, but it does. That's okay though, because we have such a happy farm. I love it. I think all of our animals are happy right now. In the last episode, we also worked on this gigantic railway system. Um, I actually still have to do more of that because I fell down in the darkness while placing all this down. So maybe that's something I'll do right now, and I'll get back to you guys after we're finished. Hey, sheep. Get off my railway, watch out! <laughs> hey man, he, he's the one who stepped in the dangerous area. I can't blame him for getting hurt. Okay then, so, um, yeah, there we go. And then I think that's all of it. Oh no, we missed a few spots over here. I don't think we have enough. Oh no, so I can't give it a, a proper testing right now. But sometime soon we'll fill up the spot and then we'll give it a proper testing. In the meantime, we definitely need to go down and get more resources. And the best way to do that right now is actually digging down through the terrain, making yet another mine. We did make one way at the beginning of the series. Our very first home was right over here. <laughs> like the Zebra Gamer on Rails Tour. Take a tour through the beautiful Zebra Gamer world. Zebra Tasticness Galore. But um yeah, like I was saying, that was our first home, if you don't remember. That's where we first made our territory, and then we slowly breached out this whole area, and it looks so awesome, and I'm so proud of it. But, um, yeah. And then we originally spawned right near that well. That mysterious, mysterious well. But let's go! Okay, then. So let's get some supplies ready, and then we're gonna go down to the depths, make our own way downwards. All right, then. So we're just getting ready here. We have all sorts of tools to our usefulness right now. This is gonna be nice and awesome for us. We have our pickaxes, our sword. Maybe I wanna make a new sword, I'm not sure, hmm. 
You know what, it might be a good idea to have a nice, full, healthy sword on our side for this. But besides that, we have our shovels, which we don't need too much of. We even have a pickaxe, I mean, not a, but a woodcutting axe, a lot of torches, some wood if we get into a bind and need to make some stuff, and even our day and night checker and our map, and we're making some food right now, so we should be super duper prepared for this trip, hopefully, and not forget anything halfway through and be like, oh no, because <laughs> that would be pretty darn awful. But... We should be good. Anything else we should be able to find when digging, so that'll be good. Let's get this stake out here too. And then finally, we just need to find the iron so that we can make it into a sword. Here it is. All right, then we'll make two new swords then with this. Get these sticks over here, and then let's go and make this while it becomes nighttime. That's okay. We'll just switch it right back to daytime after we're done here. There we go, two new swords. And then we can, I guess we can put this other sword back if we want. We don't exactly need it at this point then. Hmm. I feel like, I don't know, maybe I should keep this one in my inventory like that. Just because I don't need two swords out at all times, I'm just going to get them confused anyways. So yeah, that'll be that'll be good for now. Like, this is where it's at. We have everything we need except for this meat that's still cooking. Oh gosh, I put the, I put the torches back. Give me those back. <laughs> oh no, now I have them all numbered wrong. Oh gosh, now i got to figure this out. <laughs> oh no. I'm cooking meat, and then I look outside. Is that a witch? That is a witch. Uh-oh. I don't like a witch being so close to our house like that. Well, we are well prepared. And we haven't taken out a witch. I, no, don't get closer to my pathways. Those are my fruits and my buildings. And, oh, now she's pressing her luck. I Nobody makes a zebra angry like that and step on his property without asking permission. So somebody, and I mean this witch, is going down. Going down. Town. Oh no, wrong buttons, wrong buttons. You get out of here right now. I am tired of your stuff. Ooh, we got her and we didn't even take any damage. Okay, we didn't seem to get anything for that, but cool, we took out a witch. Achievements, people, achievements. We gotta get that bucket list going. We took out a witch. Okay, that was very scary and intimidating, but we were able to do it, which is awesome. All right then, so let's go back. I still gotta put these sticks away. And there we go. And our meat should be all cooked now. No witch is bothering us now, which is good. Hopefully she didn't have any friends that'll be out looking for. But let's find a good place to start digging, and we'll start digging. Maybe we should make it somewhere new and interesting. Because, you know, we've started our digging over there. We've gone out all this way to find mine shafts. And maybe our next ticket is to go off maybe, like, somewhere over here and start digging downwards and see what other cool stuff we can find. Go pretty darn far out. I think that'll be nice and helpful for us. So let's go. I bring my map. I brought my map too, so we shouldn't get lost. And even if we do, like we won't pop up too far from home. So yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty excited. I think this is gonna work out for us. So hmm. we'll go out a little bit farther. Oh, there's a brown sheep. Hello, brown sheep. How are you? You're not too often that we see some brown sheep. Okay then. And then the w the well is over here. Oh, as well as the swamp. We've never been over there. I I'm feeling adventurous. At the same time, I feel like we should save it for another episode and must definitely focus on the mining. So, just walk out a little bit farther, see if there's anything else interesting. Not looking like it. So here is where we'll start our adventure. <laughs> right here in this very spot. So let's go. Um, I'm already messing this up. Got to be able to get out the way I came. So I got to make sure it's nice and tidy. There we go. And I wouldn't be too worried about... Oh, I tell you, I'm, I'm going to mess it all up. No! Stop it! Why are the buttons so hard to press? I press all of the wrong ones. Okay, I'm not going to need the map right now. So I can put that there. And then, oh, no, not drop it. What is wrong with me? <laughs> there we go. All right, then. And let's start digging down. <laughs> Mining's really fun in this game. I know some people sort of find it annoying, but I don't know. I really like it. It's fun. So let's just keep doing it. And then, no, but no monster should sneak up behind us because we should be really deep by the time we get to that point where they would sneak up behind us. So I won't worry about it. And, of course, we'll use our iron pickaxe for now. We don't exactly need the diamond one to, you know, take out cobblestone because it's like it does it faster, but... It isn't worth using the durability for it. I would rather use it for something much more important because our very useful diamond pickaxe has gotten us through a lot and I do not want to lose the guy. It would be pretty devastating like we almost did the other episode ago when we died in the jungle. That was like, uh-oh, I almost lost my baby. <laughs> that would have been horrible. But we didn't, so that's good. All right, we're currently making our way through a whole bunch of dirt and gravel. 
we're not super duper deep at this moment, deep at this moment, but <laughs> we're getting there, and that's the most important thing. And I'd really like to find more diamond in this route. Hopefully, that way we can have a full thing of iron, like a full armor, iron stuff, iron armor, and then we can also have diamond weapons and pickaxes and stuff. And then finally, we'll be able to go to the Nether and see what the hullabaloo is about. I haven't been to the Nether since it released like two years ago, so it's gonna be horrifying. <laughs> but we can do it. If we just do it together, feel free to let me know your, um, what is it called, uh, nether tips. So, yeah, that'll be nice and helpful, but, um, hopefully we run into some type of actual cave system soon. That'd be nice and helpful. It is getting a little dark, so I might place a torch down in the mom in a moment. I'm using my diamond pickaxe, which I didn't even realize. I should not be doing that. <laughs> That's against my zebra code. Oh, wow, this is the first of anything we've found so far. I've been digging for what feels like forever, coming up with just about nothing. But now, oh, oh no, no, put that back. We finally found something, it was some lapis lazuli. Now this is something we have found previously in the series, so it's not the most exciting find in the world. But hey, it's something, and it makes it not boring. <laughs> All right then, so we already have a dog with a blue collar, Scruffy, so we don't have to worry too much about using this dye at all. So either way though, it's still a cool find, and I'm happy that we found it but I just don't see us using it. It is a very minor thing. But we're still just looking for iron at this point. I might start, you know, stripping things out. We can actually look at our map right now and not throw a torch. Um, we can look at our map right now and see where we are, how deep we've dug. Because as many of you have told me in the past, the best place to di find diamonds is on the, um, the 12th Y coordinate. We're currently on the 17th, so we're almost there. Just need to do a few more blocks down, and then we'll finally be there, and that'll be nice and fun, nice and easy, all that kind of stuff. And ooh, we finally, okay, maybe we're hitting some better luck here. Finding some iron now. Let's get this nice and quick with the diamond pickaxe. Okay, just two pieces, not the biggest find in the world, but that's okay. We don't need all of it right away, we just need piece by piece to go, oh, here is some more. Okay, so maybe our luck isn't completely dried out. Yes. <laughs> Oh, oh, and there's more over here. Oh, okay. I was worried that was going to be under some gravel, but that's not the case. All right, then. Gravel is such a, I don't know, that's such an annoying word to say, gravel. <laughs> All right, then. So let's just keep digging. We should just be a little bit more deeper now. Um, 12. Okay, we're on the perfect spot. It's perfumundo. All right, then. So it's getting dark up there. What time is it? It is now becoming nighttime. So I think what I'll do for safety's sake, just in case any bad guys do want to slip on down. We will put some cobblestone over our little patch here, and we'll know that, you know, we dug it up because it's cobblestone. So we can do this, this, and this, and we're like, oh, which way do we go home? The torch with the cobblestone, that looks like a staircase, which it does. <laughs> okay then, so we can actually start digging ourselves like a little square, just so that we have a little more room to breathe and stuff, that'll be nice and helpful. Ooh, and I found some redstone by doing so. Now we have to be careful in an enclosed area like this because we don't want to run into lava, because that won't be good. Hmm. All right then. Oh, ooh, all the experience right now. This will be really helpful because we need it for our enchantment table, which I haven't been using too much, but hopefully after I get like some diamond swords and stuff, that'll be what we use it on. But we'll, you know, like open this area up a bit so that we can start strip mining, and that'll be nice and helpful. We'll be able to make all the progress in the world when it comes to finding diamond. <laughs> But hopefully we don't run into too many bad guys or anything like that. Ooh, okay. So I do hear lava. The unsettling sounds of lava. I will have to be extra super duper careful, especially since I do not want any gravel falling on my head. We'll be careful and make sure that nothing bad happens to us. But just, you know, to be extra sure and stuff, we will just keep it safe, keep it slow, all that kind of stuff, nice and steady. But we do have to start focusing on killing more enemies anyways. I do want to focus on killing uh, more Endermen, because like I've been saying, we need to get to the end of the game at some point and that will be very useful if we have the ender eyes. I'm not exactly how sure, like I'm not exactly sure how it all works, but hopefully we find that pretty easily. Is that a piece? Yeah, that's a piece of iron. So let's um boop. Uh, no lava. Good, good, good. Um and then piece by piece now. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. No lava here. We're almost out of our shovel. Ooh, more redstone. Finding stuff even in <laughs> this deep deep area. Okay, there we go. And we're making the slow progress. And sometimes that's what Minecraft is about. <laughs> So come on, come on. We got more iron. I'm gonna sort of dig paths this stuff just to make sure I'm safe going forward. Okay, good here. And then torch. All right, now let's turn around and get stuff piece by piece. We need this redstone. 
I mean, we have a lot of redstone at this point. We have several stacks of redstone. So if we miss out on some, I won't be devastated. But I still like to get as much stuff as possible just so we have a nice, beautiful arsenal of cool stuff. All right, then now we can plug all this on up. Just so it's nice and neat. I like that because we know where we've been and where we haven't. And what's natural, what's not, all that kind of stuff. All right, then, so... Making some room for myself. We're finding a bunch of iron here. We, we, I would really like to find like a full stack of iron. Maybe, if not more, because that would be helpful as well. Okay, and that's all we got for here. How much do we have right now? We have 15 pieces of iron, so we're not really close to that full stack just yet, but hopefully soon, if we keep digging and all that kind of cool stuff. There we go. Um, and plug this stuff up too. Okay then, so we just need to keep digging. <laughs> It is a slow process. It's just, it's still, I don't know, I enjoy myself because there is a lot of risk involved and that makes it challenging and interesting and all that kind of cool stuff. So hopefully we can just keep digging out, find some cool stuff. I would really, really like to find some diamonds soon because then I'd be able to do my happy dance and be like, yeah, we got diamonds. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay then, let's keep going. Oh, okay, so I found myself a cave and that makes me very nervous for a slew of different reasons. I always get so nervous in your deep caves. Okay, so we finally went right into some lava. Not only is it nerve wracking just because it's lava, you will die and lose everything you've ever cherished in that lava, but there could be evil monsters around every corner and every week. I don't even see any cool materials, so maybe this is our time to throw in the bucket from going this area and try to go some new direction. I honestly find strip mining a little more you know, relaxing than I do anything else when it comes to, you know, maybe it'd be like, um, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> you know, going through the caves and stuff. So hopefully we can go off this way for a little bit and, you know, continue on this for just a little bit longer. And if we find anything cool, we will, you know, go and check it out. If not, we'll throw in the towel for the day. We definitely have all the cobblestone we need when it comes to making this railroad, but hopefully soon we can find diamonds pro appropriately. Uh-oh, uh-oh, no, 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 no. Let's plug this up, plug this up. Uh, like this. Okay then, so I don't know what's on the other side of that. It looks like another opening to a cave. And that seems to be all we're finding right now is caves. Ooh, that was dangerous. I could have ended it all right there if I wasn't careful enough. Oh man, so let's not mess up like that. We could put a torch right here. I just, ooh. What is that? Is, what is that? It's a creeper. Okay. Hey buddy, hey buddy, hey buddy. No, 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 no. Oh man, okay. Okay, not fun. Let's go, let's just pretend we didn't see anything. I think, yeah, at this point, we aren't making much luck. The creeper is sort of my nail in the coffin for tonight. I think that we are done. Oh, whoa, 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 game. Oh, now I'm getting freaked out royally, too. <laughs> and it's the middle of the night, too, so we can't really go up, but I'm gonna hang out down here for a little bit. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and share it with your friends and family, and comment in the comment section below. Either way, I think I said it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.